Good morning. This is Robin Bremer and you're watching Walks with God. And I'm already on my walk. And God's already showed me what he wants to talk to you about. And this is sort of a pet peeve of mine. Something that just really bugs me crazy. Especially since uh, an incident I had the other day. A lot of people think that the prosperity and doctrine is evil and it's of the devil. But I don't think that those people really thought too hard or were very wise um, or have ever been poor. They probably never lived in a third world country or even here in America where um, people live on the streets, people go without. Um, God says that His will is for us to live on earth like we will in heaven and that everything about God is about abundance, overflow, more than enough because on this earth is the law of sowing and reaping you reap what you sow and if you don't have enough for yourself then you can't sow if you have enough for yourself and more than you need then you have plenty to give to every good work but here's the thing that God showed me the other day about poverty poverty is poverty creates hopelessness poverty make somebody else in control of your life. Uh, poverty is oppression from the devil. Um, for example, think of this. Your kid has crooked teeth. You can't afford braces, so they grow up being made fun of or teased because they have crooked teeth. Your 16-year-old needs a car to get to school, but instead they have to ride the bus and be embarrassed. Or, say, they have to walk to school and it's really a long distance in the rain and in the snow and thunder and lightning. Or you need toilet paper, but you have no money to go get it, so you cut up some rags. Or um, your dog or cat needs cat food or dog food, but you don't have no money to go get dog food or cat food. So you feed them people food, and they get sick. Your dog or cat gets sick, dying, you can't take them to the vet because you can't afford to take them to the vet. Um, that's poverty. That's lack. That's demonic. That's all about Satan. You, as a parent, would not want that or put that on your children. If you believe in poverty, poverty is next to godliness, which is one of the devil's favorite things, then you would want your children to be poorer than you. Take away their car, take away everything, so that it can, they can be poor, so they can be next to godliness. They, you might think that they're going to go to heaven, you know, they're going to go to heaven because they don't have all this material stuff. And they're not worshiping or thinking about stuff, but you know what? What happens with that is you think, my, why would I want to serve a God that wants me poor, that wants me, my kids to die because I can't afford the doctor? Why would I want to serve a God like that that would make me poor and being poor is close to him? Somebody's not going to want to serve a God. Somebody's not going to want to be saved when their parents or when somebody teaches them that, you know, you have to be poor in order to be next to God. And uh, who would want to serve a God like that? Our God's not that way. That's religious teaching. Religion is from the devil, not from God. Religion is man's way of trying to be good enough to get to heaven and thinking arrogantly that they can get to heaven because they do right things or they're good enough. Uh, but Jesus came to pay for our sins, God himself came down, put aside all his godly attributes, all his godliness, and died on a cross, lived as a man, and died as a cross to pay for our sin, because the penalty for sin is death, so that we could have a relationship with him, so we could have prosperity and live like heaven on earth. When he created man, he gave man all authority and all dominion. And he created us to have dominion and authority over every, everything, over all the works of his hands. And he wanted us to live like kings. And he wants us to sow and to reap and to give. So, um, my name is Robin Bremer, and God is a God of prosperity, not poverty. Poverty is of the devil. And you're watching Walks with God.